Greetings and salutations, everyone. It is Wednesday, November 26th, and today is going to be um, a battle pet video. So I'm going to walk you through all of the pets um, <clears throat> that are new this expansion. So, uh, way we're going to do this is I'm going to go by zone first, and then we're going to go through the other ones that come from quests and all of that, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to check and check all Draenor, check all. Okay, so the main new ones, and this is going to be probably not very interesting for most of you and I apologize, but this is what we're doing today. So. There is the Amber Barb Wasp, which is a flying with a crap ton of beast moves. <coughs> it spawns in Gorgrind. Uh, this is not new. No, this is new. The Thicket Skitterer is in Spires of Iraq, which is a beast with a lot of beast moves and a couple humanoids. I'm not going to go through all the moves for all of them, but I will explain how to get them. So all of these so far are, uh, I will stipulate if they are battle pets or not. So these are all battle pets so far. Wood Wasp is in Gorgrind. Royal Moth is in Shadowmoon Valley and Talador. Um, very common in Shadowmoon Valley, though. Da, da, da. Cleft Hoof Runt is in Nagrand. And as far as I know... Yeah, it's 17. So you can get this in... Um, you can get this in Old Nagrand. This is not new. This is not a new Nagrand. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, Brilliant Spore is actually drops as a uncommon I upgraded it and it drops um, in Spires of Iraq from Rot Cap. So this actually drops from uh, English I speak it sometimes. It drops from uh, it's one of the treasures that you'll have to find. I'll do a treasure achievement eventually but it's um, you just have to kind of jump on some cliffs and click on a mushroom. The Hydroling is in Vash's egg, so you go to Spires of Iraq, and there's a bunch of nests around this one big area, and if you click on the right one, you get the pet. Um, Nether Spawn, Spawn of Nether Spawn, is from a rare called Nether Spawn. Big surprise. Why are you only level one? Okay. Um, Zomstruck is found. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Zomstruck is found off of mobs that spawn along here. So I just went and I killed guys for like five or ten minutes and I got him. He's a pretty decent spawn rate. Um, I also went during the day when nobody was around pretty early on in the game. Like this was one of the first pets I actually went and farmed. So uh, just kind of bear that in mind. Um, there's usually a lot of guys on there. It's not going for too much on the auction house right now, at least on my realm. So you can keep an eye out for it there if you like. Uh, Brilliant Bloodfeather spawns in Talador. Frost for Rat spots in Frostfire Ridge. Jungle Beak is in Gorgrind. Waterfly is in Shadowmoon Valley and Talador. Um, I found this more common in Shadowmoon Valley in the marshy areas than I did in Talador. Frost Shell Pincher is in Frostfire Ridge. Uh, Crimson Spore is... Oh, I lied. Sorry. The Brilliant Spore does come off a boss. The Crimson Spore is in Gorgrind and it's on a bunch of mushrooms. And the Fruit Hunter... It drops from a wiggling egg in Frostfire Ridge. It's, again, I'll do a treasure video eventually, but um, you have to climb up on top of a level 92, level 93 area and just drop down, kill the ads in the area. They're not very strong. And then just loot the egg. It takes, I want to say it takes three days to hatch. Um, Icky is from a quest in Spires of Iraq. Uh, it, you're pretty much guaranteed to get it. It's not a, it's not like an obscure quest. You just you, you find it as you're going through the quest chain in Spires. Uh, Kaliri Hatchling and Veil Watcher Hatchling. After you defeat the Battle Pet Tamer in Spires of Iraq, uh, he becomes a vendor. Kaliri costs 10 gold and the Veil Watcher costs 1,000 gold. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the Metal Stomper Calf is from a quest in... New, Negr New Negrand, sorry, I used to call it Negrand, and then I found out it's actually called Negrand, so, um, New Negrand, um, and it, it's just from a quest, not very difficult to get, um, the Tarot Claw Hatchling 
is, maybe this was the one that's in the nest. My apologies, yeah, this is the one that is in the nest that, spa that spawns randomly in Talador. Um, the Umbra Fren spawn, Umbra Fen spore, oh my god, that is impossible to say, Umbra Fen spore, maybe, I don't know, uh, is in Shadow Moon, and it, there's a trick to get to it, and I, I will explain this one later. Um, the Axby Catchling is in Gorgrind, the Flat Two Calf is in Talador, Golden Dawn Feather is in Spires, Shadow Spore Bed is in Talador, this is a bitch to find. Uh, it only spawns around Zangara, which is where you will do all the legendary quests with Khadgar. Um, be prepared to wait. It is a very rare spawn. Um, it's kind of like the Minfernal in... Why can't I think of the zone name? Anyway, it's like the Minfernal in Felwood. There we go. Um, so it just you just have to kind of wait a while. The Iron Clouds, the Iron Claw Scuttler is in Frostfire Ridge. Seagull is not exclusive. Bloodsting Wasp is in Spires. Kelp Scuttler is in Talador. Leather and Leatherhide Runt is in Nagrand. Uh, Moonshell Crab is in Shadow Moon. Mossbite Skitterer is in Shadow Moon. Mud Jumper is in everywhere, pretty much. But Nagrand Spires and Talador. I found this one very commonly in Nagrand. Mudback Calf is Gorgrind. Parched Lizard is in Gorgrind. Swamp Lighter Firefly is in <coughs> Spires. Twilight Wasp is in Frostfire or Gorgrind. Zangar Crawler is in Shadow Moon. Ice Spine Hatchling is in Frostfire. Now, the rest of these are all a little bit harder to get, and these are not all of them, but, uh, so we've done, we've done those, we've done all the ones I have, so let's, zones, check all, we're gonna take the filter off, and we're gonna go to, I have over half now, look where, look where it starts now. Okay, so, we're just gonna go from the top. So this one comes from Master of the Menagerie. So there is a daily quest once you get your pet, once you get your menagerie to level three, um, which you need to do 500 battles in Draenor to, to get, and uh, you get unique rewards. And sometimes I guess you can get a pet. So this is one of them. This you need to get to a specific reputation with the Steamweedle Preservation Society, which is the Goblin faction in Draenor. Uh, this one is an archaeology one and I believe it is the Jermai clans one. I don't think this is Arakoa. And Argi is, oh, that's a shop one, and I don't know how you get that yet. Uh, nope. Okay, um, Laughing Skull. So when you get your trading post to level two, um, if you are a horde, you will get the faction Laughing Skull. If you are Alliance, you will get Shatari Defense. Shatari Defense already has the pet if you've done the Shatari Skyguard rep in Outland, um, but Horde gets Bone Wasp, um, and you just have to get to a specific reputation level. It's probably Exalted, it could be Revered, I don't actually know. Uh, Bush Chicken is from Pilgrim's Bounty, which is going on right now, so I did a video last year, um, it's if you go to my channel and go to my playlists, it is under World Events, it's like three quarters of the way down, um, but this is a new pet, I'm not entirely sure how to get it, let's find out. You get a black screen. Hold on, let's just switch you to my face for a second. I apologize. Okay. Where are you? Okay, so, oh, there are there is a new toy for this one and the frightened bush chicken. Let's look you up. How do we get you? The item is request reward from the dailies. Okay. Has a chance to draw it from Pilgrim's Bounty, which is a reward from the five dailies. Okay. So... Each, each daily gives you a Pilgrim's Bounty, um, and it has a chance to be in there, and there's five, so you get five chances a day to get this one. Oh, let's switch you back to WoW. You don't want to be looking at my face anymore. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, Crazy Carrot, you get, um, and this cost is wrong. Um, you get it at your herb garden, but you have to pay a thousand uh, Drake seeds. So don't think, oh, I've got 50, I've got it, no. And you need 500 to get it to level to level three. So once you get it to level three, you're halfway there. If you are an herbalist, you will get seeds much faster. If you are farming herbs, because you get them from farming herbs all throughout Draenor. Draenor, Draenor, eh, whatever. Um, okay, none of this is new. You are not new. You are new. You. Uh, okay, so this one is from Council of Exarchs, which I believe is the. 
alliance yes this is the alliance faction um for shadow moon horde you have a similar one in the starting in frostfire i don't know what it's called we'll get to it i'm sure they have one too so this you get for i'm assuming again i'm assuming exalted i could be wrong and uh, nope okay this is a tailor one you get from tailoring this guy drops off of Oromo the Observer, who is a boss in Talador. He is a 100 rare spawn, I believe, so just be careful when fighting him. Firewing is from Mastering the Menagerie, which is again the daily that uh, you get when you get your pet menagerie to level 3. Uh, Four Sproutling you get from the Goblin faction in Draenor. Frostwolf Puff, you get, okay, so the Frostwolf faction is the, what the Council of Exarchs faction is to the Alliance, so this is the one that you will get. Um, nope. This is also from Mastering the Menagerie. This is, that's a card game. This one, okay, so there is a, Blau's 10th anniversary is going on right now, so if you log on in a major city, you will get the Molten Corgi, which is super, super cute. Um, let's look him up. This is what he looks like. He's really cute, and the really funny part is he drags his butt on the ground and leaves a trail of lava behind, which I just thought was hysterical. And um, when you are running the raid, it is a love. It is a forty-man LFR, which is a gong show. Um, the boss has a chance to drop this. You'll also get a six forty helm and a feat of strength. And if you run the Torn Mill versus South Shore uh, Battleground forty again forty v forty, you get a title. This is not you no maybe no yes okay this is another oh this is you get from Nat Pagel so once you get your fishing shack to level three you will get a quest to go get Nat Pagel as a um, follower and he becomes a vendor and if you do if you collect lunkers you can turn them in for coins and at fifty you get for fifty coins you can get a line shark but you need to get better friendship with him and you do that by turning in those lunkers so that's something I'm gonna have to do eventually not gonna do it anytime soon though not gonna lie okay and this is a engineering pet I'm missing a few but that is okay we're gonna go to uh, my level one stuff for a second because I am missing a couple da -da -da, I apologize give me a second here no this is what you got for getting the warlords collector's edition Okay, Everbloom Peachick is from a quest. Oh, I was so excited I got this yesterday. I bought it, finally. Um, the Frostwolf Gold Puff is Frostwolf Gold Puff is from Archaeology. I bought it on the auction house. It was super cheap. Mm-hmm. This one drops from Upper Blackhawk Spire. I bought it because I'm lazy. And drops off of uh, the Lion Decor, which is one of the bosses, I'm pretty sure. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, there's the Molten Corgi, which is from the WoW 10th Anniversary. This one is easy. All you have to do is log in. Sorry. I'm trying to be quick. Give me that horn note, you're thunder. Da, 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 da. Okay, Royal Peacock you get when you do Draenor Safari, which is to get one of each type of the new pets that are in Draenor. Only the pet battle ones, not all of them. Um, which I thought was pretty freaking cute. And, okay, we're on the S's. Okay. Um, Okay, now we will go to the level ones, because the level ones are usually ones that you acquire. Also, something really creepy, watching this guy walk wander around your garrison, that is freaking terrifying. Okay, Fruit Hunter, oh we already talked about that one, derp. I'm herping and derping all over the place here, I apologize. Talked about that one, talked about that one. 
Uh, Rotten Little Helper is a new pet from Feast of Wintervale. I don't know how someone got this on the auction house, but they did, and I bought it because I could. Um, okay, this is a drop in Talador. I believe I bought it on the auction house. I don't know exactly what. I think it just drops from various things in Talador, or you get it from a quest. I don't think you get it from a quest. Let's find out. Again, apologies for the black screen. Stone grinder. Okay, Kane and Katea's stash, which is a treasure. Okay, so it comes from a treasure. It's not really a drop then, is it? Okay, this is the tarot club. Next one. We talked about that one. Okay, the rest of these won't be any different. So we were on H, I think. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we did talk about the land shark. This is one of the engineering ones. Can I just search engineering? Because I am missing one. Is this a new one? Okay, this is one of the new ones, I'm pretty sure. I think, maybe. I don't remember. Some of them, there's a bunch that come from engineering and I don't. But that is one of them. I need to get it together, holy crap. I am, okay, so. This is another one. There are three, I thought, maybe, but anyway. Uh, this comes from cooking. You have a chance to get this with everything you cook. I believe it still applies to greys as well, which is awesome. And. Yeah. This is from Valentine's Day. This is a new thing. So I'm going to have to get that again. This is the other engineering one, which is, I just think, freaking adorable. Love this one. Um, Mystical Spring Okay is a new one they added, but it won't be available until Noble Garden. Nope. Okay, this you can get from Herbalism. You just randomly find it. Or eaters the same way, you just randomly find it from mining. You, nope. Okay, this is another one from Mastering the Menagerie. This is another one. F oh no, this you get from, it can drop when you do barn stuff in your, I can't zoom out. It's a pig. Me cow, sorry, it's a cow. I need caffeine, holy crap. Um. Anyway, you get this when you have a level three barn. You have a chance to get it. This is another one you get from uh, Nat Pagel if you get his coins. This you get from Little Sister Lost. It is a quest that you will get while leveling through your garrison. Uh, Servant of Demidas, it drops from Demidas, which is a boss in Shadowmoon Valley in the level 100 areas where you can get the daily quests. Um, this is... When you hit Exalted with the Shatari. This is wrong. This actually comes from... Um, a trading post quest thing like this. This is mucked up right now, but this is something you can get from something to do with your trading post. I'm not entirely sure what yet. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so when you get your outcast era co-faction to exalted, you can get one of these. This you get from blacksmithing. It, I believe it works like the cooking one. You just have a chance to get it every time, unless you can actually. I I would imagine you could make it actually. So. I take that back. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, storming you get when you get 600 pets. I am so close. Oh, I am so close. Uh, nope. This guy was new for Brewfest. Sunsprout Lang. Okay, this is another one for Mastering the Menagerie. This is another one for Mastering the Menagerie. This was the new... They added a new pet battler in... Dark Moon, and he drops greater Dark Moon pet supplies, and this is what you have a chance to get from from him. This you get from fighting with your little Elec plushie on fighting all the tamers with him on your team. He doesn't even have to be very high leveled. And Weebomination is freaking adorable. It looks like 
patchwork almost, um, but it's tiny. And that's another one from Mastering the Menagerie. And that is it. So that was, how long was I talking? Ugh. Holy crap, 20 minutes, I apologize. But those are all the new pets in warlords including some events so like i said let's switch this back to webcam you don't want to be looking at black so like i said pilgrim's bounty started so go and get the new pet get the new toy and enjoy pilgrim's bounty it's a good time go eat some delicious food because i know um if you are american you are celebrating thanksgiving right now or very soon this weekend i believe so uh happy american thanksgiving mine was back in october and it was delicious i had a great time um <coughs> but uh yeah, more pets. So anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.